Guys, there is some bad news for Kanye. Things are not looking good right now. There's a lot going on tonight about Kanye. It's Kanye, 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 and it has been for the last three weeks. I, like, I just don't get it. I haven't reported more on Kanye more than ever until now. There is too much going on. Hey guys, it's Morab Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, click that button for daily and consistent content, hourly and consistent, especially today. It has turned into a super Wednesday. Videos have nearly come out every single hour for the last, like, I don't know, five, six hours. There's just a lot going on. So subscribe. If you haven't, you are missing out on cons consistent content. Subscribe. To my podcast as well guys there's a new episode coming out tonight hashtag i'm over it so please go and subscribe to that podcast i'm trying to push the podcast i would appreciate it if you guys could subscribe to that as well and of course my instagram mirage and Morali. let's get into this guys let's get into this quick fire because there is a lot that is going on it seems that given that he didn't announce his candidacy until july kanye was the president presidential bid has been an uphill battle the rapper has filed petitions and so forth. The latest issue has come into West's home, Chicago, where he reported that 1,300 signatures short of the necessary 2,500 needed to appear on the Illinois ballot. A hearing officer determined that only 1,200 signatures submitted were valid, which means that the rest were obviously fake and of course, or fraud or so forth. And I discussed that, made a video about that. Um, but now it's being reported by Vanity Fair that he could face actually up to three years in prison, that he actually can go to prison. Now, electoral fraud is a major, major crime. Now, of course, politics, crime, and so forth, this all stuff goes hand in hand, allegedly, to be honest with you. There's a lot more stuff that goes on behind the scenes that we just don't know. But playing around with elections, forging signatures, faking all that to give you this false appearance is a major, major crime, especially in the US. They don't play with this. Do I honestly, genuinely think he's going to go to jail? No, because I feel like he has coin and he will get out of it somehow in some shape, way, or form, or manner. But three years in prison is not a cute look, guys. Like, it just isn't for electoral fraud. And it, it's just two days later, Florham Park based elections attorney Scott Salmon says he found hundreds of suspicious signatures with issues including no last name, people who were not registered to vote, or didn't even live in New Jersey. Salman told N NJ Advanced Media, I'm glad to see the Kanye campaign has realized that their petition was not going to survive here. It was so clearly deficient that it wasn't even worth defending. I think that's the main takeaway here. I wish it wouldn't have gotten this far. Additionally, a New York Times investigation found there are a number of Republican activists helping West get on the ballot, including Mark Jacoby, whose company let the voters decide has been collecting signatures in Ohio, West Virginia, and Arkansas. Whilst working for the Californian Republic Party in 2008, Jacoby was arrested on voter fraud charges and pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor guys come on he's working with people who have already have voted fraud like what? come on west's team has been told august 21st to review illinois determination regarding the invalid signatures when the findings will be presented to the illinois state board of elections so it is likely now that he pot potentially could go to jail you know this is a serious situation this is not we're not joking around here so it's unfortunate. Do I think he is going to go to jail? I don't, but we just don't know, guys. Let me know your thoughts on when it comes to this. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my podcast. Hashtag I'm over it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys soon for another video.